so anyone from electronics or electrical background okay okay so uh, uh, are you aware of any uh, simulation softwares any simlink and matlab what about the circuit simulation p space okay so you have a student version of p space right so uh, anyone heard of uh, open source equivalent of uh, schematic creation and simulation software no have you heard of keycat ng space are you heard of it? so uh, basically esim is a electronic software i mean uh, design and analysis tool it's basically based on the open source tool keycat and ng space so uh, what we do uh, we create a schematic in the keycat front end and for simulation purpose we uh, use the ng space things uh but the thing is the keycat generate a standard netlist uh, spice format netlist but uh, ng it's not compatible with the ng space so what what esim does like it creates an infrastructures where you can create your projects uh you can generate the keycat netlist and convert it into ng spice netlist and even though you can plot it interact uh, get the interactive plotting in the esim itself so uh these are the capability of esim which we have like uh, you as i said like you can create the schematic then you can even draw the pcb layout using keycat itself uh then for the simulation purpose we are using the open source tool ng space and in the ng space like there is a facility to add the device uh, you can create your own model and you can have the external device library as well so we do have the facility of device modeling in esim as well and apart from this like we have the sub circuit creation a uh, sub circuit as in like uh, you have a small circuits and you want to use those circuits in your bigger projects let's say you have the inverting amplifiers you design the inverting amplifier and put it in a uh, your main projects you can use it as a sub circuit and then we have the interactive python plotting so where like a uh, uh, user can just uh, check uh, click on the check box and create a plot against any uh, let's like, say node 1 versus node 2 let's say he want to add node 1 plus node 2 and all those things is available in the esim so basically esim desktop version is already available it's almost done so these are the uh, infrastructure we provides uh, where a user can uh, like uh, create any number of projects they have their own workspace if you have used eclipse then like if you create any projects it puts into a workspace so same functionality is available in the esim desktop version as well so you can say it as a mini id so what we are looking is we want to convert this desktop version into a web version so we we already have a open source tool uh, called webtronics you can see like uh, we can just create the schematic over here even it generates the netlist as well but those netlist are very basic i mean you can't have the complete netlist uh, which is compatible with the ng spice things and there are lots of works to be done here so we have started this project and uh, we added few functionalities to convert the netlist into ng spice compatible format and uh, like there are lots of things like plotting and all those things are remaining it generate the netlist but we are not able to get the plotting properly so these are the tasks which uh, you people have to do and the language required for this is i mean obviously you have to dig the go or source code and i mean it's an open source project so you have to dig the source code of open source projects and modify the code accordingly so it's not a projects where you have to build it from the scratch but you have to look at the source code of webtronics <laughs> so what we will be using like we will be mainly focusing on html and javascript so anyone who is good in html and javascript sir welcome and apart from this like you will get the knowledge of node js so we will use the node js as a server and you can have the like uh, if you are interested in python then we do have one uh, uh, functions where you have to pass the netlist and generates the data points for plotting purpose on the client side so these are the languages requirements if you are uh, interested in learning node js javascript then you are welcome okay thank you